God often comes to us with an opportunity, but we start giving him our objections. We say, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough friends. I don't have enough knowledge to do what I'm about to do. I don't have enough contacts for my business to succeed. We don't have enough volunteers in the church. We don't have enough money to fund this. We don't have enough money to do this. We start giving objections when God is placing the opportunity in front of us. And we come to verse 12 and he says, when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he says, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. It's easy to gloss over that. You see mighty, God is calling him mighty, but he is literally hiding. He is fearful, he is a coward, he's hiding in a wine press. But God, <laughs> God doesn't call you by how you see yourself. He doesn't call you by the labels that everyone else gave you. God doesn't call you by your current state of mind or even your current state of being. God is outside of time, but we're confined by it. And there is a reason he's calling you. Where you see fear, God sees faith. Where you see failure, God sees your future. Where, he see, where you see a doubt, God sends a dream. Where you see darkness, God sends deliverance. Where you see lack, He sent a lamb. Where you see rejection, God sees redemption. Where you see your suffering, He is still sovereign. He knows your pain and He has a purpose for it. You may feel dead inside, but He is not done if you're not dead.